二零二一年第一條題目係有關於消化系統嘅，咁呢幅圖咧就顯示咗人類嘅消化系統啦嘅某一啲嘅部位出現咗嘅膽石嘅，咁所以你見得到啦，喺膽囊入面又有膽石啦，喺呢一條管道 B 咧。都有膽石塞鬼住咗嘅，嗱咁當然啦，做翻一個好嘅習慣啊嘛，係咪？人哋都講咗俾你聽啦，有啲十二指腸啊、膽囊啊、膽石嗰啲啦，咁啊做翻少少嘅基本 labeling 啦，係咪？咁啊綠色呢條管咧就落嚟嘅咧就係個膽管啦，去到藍色呢個咧其實就係個胰臟嘅胰管嚟嘅，咁當然因為個胰管咧係喺入面噶嘛，咁所以我就係俾個箭嘴你哋睇啦，咁所以呢個管道 B 咧。就係、是、膽管同埋胰管嘅共同通道嚟嘅。Part A 咧正正就問你 structure A 啦。其實問問咧，我都會建議你寫翻低嘅，因為題目咧一定會問你嘅。咁啊，對於英文嘅同學仔啦，咁啊記住串啱字啦。而答中文嘅同學仔咧，就記緊啲字唔好太潦啦。如果咧越卷完咧係認唔到你個胰臟呢兩個字咧，咁就唔好意思啦，就冇分噶啦。好，然後啦，事不宜遲呢，就去到拍 B 咯。咁啊，參考返啦，喺管道 B 所釋出嘅分泌物嘅兩種成分，嗱係個分泌物入面嘅兩種成分啊解釋返呢一幅圖呢所示嘅情況，即係話啦，有啲膽石失鬼咗呢個管道 B 喎，呢個共同管道喎。究竟啦，系点样导致到脂肪嘅消化速率下降呢？嗱，好明显嘅因果题嚟嘅呢个题目咧，就考翻我哋咧整个直线抽击答题法啦。人哋个因就系话啦，喺个管道 B 塞住咗，个果咧就系脂肪嘅消化速率下降咗嘅。所以啦，整个思考应架咧，第一步咧，你就要辨认翻喺个管道 B 嗱，作为胰管同埋胆管嘅。共同管道啦，佢嘅分泌物同脂肪消化相关嘅成分究竟系啲乜嘢啦？喺胆管出嚟嘅就系胆汁，咁胆汁啦有咩嘅成分系同呢个脂肪消化嘅关系咧？就系胆盐啦，分别咧就系胆盐啦，同埋呢个氢碳酸化钠，亦即系 sodium hydrogen carbonate 啦。而喺个胰液入面有啲乜嘢嘅成分系同呢个脂肪消化有关咧？就係、是、胰液入面嘅脂肪酶啦。咁有咗呢個基本概念之後呢，我哋就會講喎。由於管道 B 係塞咗，導致到少咗嘅膽鹽啦，少咗嘅氫碳酸化鈉啦，少咗嘅脂肪酶啦，點樣影響咗脂肪嘅消化啦？我一擊破喎，少咗膽鹽呢，就會減少咗小腸入面脂肪嘅乳化啦。少咗脂肪酶嘅分泌呢，就會減少咗小腸入面脂肪嘅化學式消化啦。同埋少咗氫氧化酸钠嘅分泌呢，就会导致到小肠入面嘅 pH 值就唔係消化脂肪嘅最适当嘅 pH 啦。答案就係咁直接啦。呢度题目啦，有啲咩嘅变化呢？下次啦，直接问下你囉。喂，胆汁呢，究竟係边个器官去分泌或者系制造㗎？咁其实呢，已经係好好攞嚟 check concept 㗎啦，因为。因為好多同學咧會當咗係個膽囊啊，咁但係實質啦，分泌膽汁嘅咧係個肝臟啊，咁多位。好，又嚟到一點出發啦。今次嘅題目咧就由膽石開始嘅，考大家嘅當然係睇病學擺屙啦，亦都係一條好典型嘅因果題啦。膽石塞住咗嗰個管道 B， 就導致到咧脂肪消化速率下降啦。然後啦就考我哋兩樣嘢咯，膽汁同埋胰液啦。呢兩個消化液咧都同脂肪消化係有關係嘅。膽汁啦，就係負責機械式消化啦，就一個乳化作用啦。過往都有題目咧，係考有關於膽汁啦，同埋脂肪嘅消化嘅。咁當然啦，膽汁入面咧，仲有呢個 sodium hydrogen carbon 嚟啦，就再中和翻咧嘢食嘅酸性，去提供一個適當嘅 pH 值咧，就俾翻胰液入面嘅酶啊，去加速嘅消化嘅。而喺胰液入面咧，就各式各样嘅酶啦。今次要消化脂肪嘅，自不然系脂肪酶啦，就系、是、负责化学式消化啦。咁过往咧都有 M C 啊，或者长题咧都系考下大家啦，化学式嘅消化、机械式嘅消化，或者啦饮奶嘅学问啊，又或者啦玩猪屎。或者咧，題目都可以問下你嘅喎。如果一個人佢而家面對住呢個情況啦，消化脂肪速率下降啦，會導致乜嘢嘅情況呢？自不然就係消化不良啦，係咪？佢唔能夠拆解曬咁多嘅脂肪。消化唔到，自不然吸收唔到啦。跟住成個故事嘅邏輯啦，消化唔到就吸收唔到，吸收唔到你就要排胃出嚟咯。Ejection 喎，係咪啊？咁 ejection 嘅話啦，咁就會導致你腹瀉啦，因為你嗰啲屎咧係會非常之油淋淋啊。咁油淋淋嘅屎即係屙爛屎啦。咁腹瀉嘅情況咧，你就會面對啦，過量流失水分同埋礦物質咯。咁你會畀啲咩建議呢個人呢？飲水好啊，定係飲補抗力好呢？所以呢條題目呢，其實好好啊。佢唔係考你去背返咩膽汁啊，或者胰液呢，每一個成分嘅功能啊。
，而係話俾你聽，堵塞咗呢一條管道係會對脂肪消化過程嘅影響啊！所以記緊翻啦，直線抽擊答題法啦，咁多位。Two two one question one is about the human digestion system. This diagram shows the presence of gallstone in some parts of the human digestive system. So you can see that the gallbladder with the gallstone, the duodenum, and the gallstone are blocked. The exam said, and you can see there is a gallstone in the duct B. I always remind you all: once you see a diagram with the labels, remember the good practice. Do the labeling first. And see the bowel duct and the pancreatic duct. And then for the duct B, actually is the common passage of the bowel duct and pancreatic duct. This duct B is blocked by the gallstone. You can see that how important is the good practice labeling. No matter the question asks you or not, I also recommend you to do the labeling first. Structure A is the pancreas, so beware of the spelling. And for part B, with reference to the two components of the secretion we released from duct B, this common passage of the bowel duct and the pancreatic duct, explain how the condition shown in this diagram, that means the blockage in the duct B, would need to a decrease in the rate of the fat digestion. So this question you can see that is a very clear cause and effect question. And the whole scaffolding, we need to use the strict to the point answering method. We make the cause and effect. The cause is the blockage of the duct B. The effect is the lower rate of the fat digestion. So for the whole scaffolding, we need to identify the component in the secretion of duct B which are related to the fat digestion. So in the bowel juice, the related component are the bowel salt and the sodium hydrogen carbonate. Component related to the fat digestion in the pancreatic juice is the pancreatic lipase. Remember, the question is talking about how the condition would need to. A decrease in the rate of fat digestion, so you need to talk about the condition. The condition not only talking about the blockage of the common passage, but also the bowel juice and the pancreatic juice. They cannot be released to the duodenum. Therefore, when you talk about the bowel salt, lipase, and the sodium hydrogen carbonate, you need to talk about decrease in the secretion of the bowel salt. Decrease in the secretion of the lipase and the decrease in the secretion of the sodium hydrogen carbonate, and then the next step of the scaffolding is that how digestion is affected by the process related to this component. So, so in this step, you need to recall the function of the component. So you can see that decrease in the secretion of the bowel salt, which in turn decrease the emulsification of fat in the small intestine. Decrease in the secretion of the lipase, which in turn decreases the chemical digestion of the fat in the small intestine. That means the lipase will not be broken down into glycerol and the fatty acids. And the decrease in the secretion of the sodium hydrogen carbonate, such that the pH in the small intestine, in the duodenum, in the ileum, is no longer optimum for digestion of the fat. So you can see that in this question, it does not ask you to recall the functions of the all components of the bowel juice and the pancreatic juice. You need to select the correct related component for the fat digestion. The possible question variation, it can ask you that the very basic question: bowel juice. Is secreted or produced by which organ? This question. Some of the students they always misunderstand that the bowel juice is secreted by the gallbladder. No, no, no. The bowel juice is secreted by the liver. Let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question starts from the gallstone, and surely it's talking about the disease approach with the cause and the effect. Blockage of the duct B will need to a decrease in the rate of fat digestion. And then this question asks us about the bowel juice and the pancreatic juice. Both of them are related to the fat digestion. For the bowel juice is related to the mechanical digestion for the emulsification, and the fat is emulsified into tiny fat droplets. And for the pancreatic juice, it's responsible for the chemical digestion. Surely, it's talking about the lipase. So you can see that in the past, no matter MC or long question, uh, there are questions about the chemical digestion, mechanical digestion, even directly talking about the digestion of the lipase, or even the food test related to the digestion. So you can also watch the video for the revision. So for the fat digestion, if we would like to continue the story, surely we can talk about that. Now, and for this question, remember the main theme is the disease approach. So maybe next time it can ask you that any consequence of the incomplete fat digestion. 
So because the fats they are not digested completely, therefore they may not be absorbed by our body. Therefore, there will be a poor absorption, so the person suffering from this disease will not uptake sufficient amount of energy. And apart from the poor absorption, any other consequence, incomplete digestion, it means that you cannot absorb it, that's why the undigested food, the fat, will be ingested in your feces. Therefore, the person will be suffering from diarrhea, and then they will suffering from a loss of the water and minerals. So at that moment, uh, what do you suggest them to drink? Pure water or Bukali, some mineral waters?